So I have a problem with this uh, Black & Decker drill. It is a BD CDD12. And here's what happens. So this only rotates a very short distance. So it doesn't actually work as a drill. So I'm undoing the screws to separate the unit in half and we'll see why this is happening. If it's the motor or if it's this gearbox unit or restrictor unit which sits here. So I'm going to get this apart and you'll rejoin me once we're inside. All the screws are pretty much the same size except the one that goes in here which is ever so slightly smaller. It's just a smaller head uh, but it is the same length. It's also got a slightly different thread as well. So that's all the screws out. Let's see if this literally just comes apart. And it looks like I can just prise it apart with one hand, which is pretty good. So this is the inside of the drill. We have Unfortunately, that what looks like a sealed motor unit, so you can't easily replace replace the brushes in this. And this is the problem that we're having. And it looks like this whole unit lifts out like so. So it's basically one whole affair. And are these soldered or do they pull off? These are spade connectors. So we have a positive and negative. So thankfully positive is marked with this little red dot. So we should be able to pull these off. So we'll just need both hands to do that. So unfortunately these don't remove very easily. So I've left them in place and I've removed the three screws that attach the motor to the, effectively the drill, drill, uh, sorry, drill, trip, drill chuck. There's a little gearbox in there. Now we can see if this rotates freely and that does indeed seem to rotate freely. So let's have a look at the motor. And let's see if the motor rotates. And unfortunately, it looks like the motor has uh, actually, the motor is actually the problem. And if I just give it a sniff, it does smell pretty burnt actually. So it looks like the motor's actually expired. So that is the part number for the motor. So that is an N750726. And I'll actually just grab a photo of this because I might be able to source just the motor itself. There we go. So that's the motor part number and a well, replacement wouldn't actually be too difficult we'd need to get these off I've got a feeling there's a little tab in there which holds these in place and it would then just be a case of popping the new motor on putting this back on and as you can see there's your little gearbox in there that rotates without any problems whatsoever so Obviously the problem is with the motor and not this part of the drill. And actually, interestingly, this is actually probably a good area to apply some lubrication periodically. Um, I would recommend a silicone grease, um, something that is fine to use around electrical motors and things. Although, to be honest, there is a bit of grease on there and there is a... Um, 
a seal on the motor itself, so no grease should actually get inside there. So, what we will do is we'll put everything back together and put all the screws back into the body. And in the meantime, I'll see if I can source another motor. So rather than throwing this in the bin, we will actually have a working, useful drill, which I can use. Anyway, that's it for today. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.